12 years at the pinnacle of Formula One, nine wins and 42 podiums. Mark Webber now switches his attention to previously unfinished business. Anyway, that's just the feedback on the boost. It's a good balancing tool, that's the problem. It's not just a performance tool in terms of power. After a terrifying accident at Le Sarth in 1999, this is the behind the scenes story of Mark's passage from Formula One and his return to Le Mans. Mark Webber has been at the forefront of Formula One with Red Bull Racing for seven years, and 2013 marked the end of his Formula One career. The United States Grand Prix marked his penultimate race in Formula One, and five days beforehand, 60 miles from the circuit, Mark was to be found in the foothills of Texas, reflecting with close friends and family on 215 Grand Prix starts. It is right to, to stop when uh, I'm still driving pretty well, but on the other side it's not getting easier. So uh, it's a good time to uh, hand over and uh, you know give someone else a crack. When I left Williams, you think you know I'm going to have another five or six years and I'm going to bang out you know over 40 podiums and have quite a few wins and a couple of wins at Monaco and go for a world championship. You think yeah. Probably unlikely, but it happened. So uh, yeah, a lot of good moments, and um, but it's human nature to want more. So in general, uh, yeah, a lot of lot of lot of special moments, mate. Yeah, a lot of special moments. For a dad uh, to have his son make Formula One, it's uh, for an Aussie boy, it's uh, a dream come true. I think he's been great for the sport, and uh, to be able to step out of Formula One and do what he's going to do next year with Porsche and WEC, dream come true dream come true for him. Austin uh, is a good Grand Prix for me, obviously it's only the second year we've been here, um, but I met some good friends through cycling over the years uh, out here and yeah it's good to come to the race a little bit early, hang out with them. To go out on the bikes is something we, we do quite often, go out, roll along, talk about all sorts, uh, you know a couple of little hills here and there, it's nice, you can easily socialise on the bike so sometimes we're not talking, obviously we're out of breath, sometimes we're yeah, just catching up with you know what's going on in Australia, what's going on in Europe, Formula One, cycling, uh, families. So it's a nice little trade-off. Texas little rollout before the Grand Prix. They're good tour guides, these guys. With the end of an era in sight, it dawns the start of a fresh challenge as Mark prepares to take on the gruelling 24 hours of Le Mans with Porsche Motorsport in the FIA World Endurance Championship. Sports car racing is part of the company's heritage and the manufacturer has produced and engineered some of the most iconic prototype race cars in motorsport history. Perhaps most notably the then evolutionary Porsche 917 which brought the brand their Le Mans victories in 1970 and 71. 2014 sees them return with their new hybrid technology Porsche 919 LMP1 race car and the team and Mark have one focus in mind and that is to bring Porsche's overall win tally at the 24 hours of Le Mans to 17. Why did I choose Porsche? I think like the last few years in Formula One I knew that I was coming to the end of my career and uh, it was important for me to find something which was super, super professional. Uh, something that I also could contribute to heavily uh, into a new program which is the LMP program with uh, LMP1 program which Porsche have. To represent them at Le Mans is, is, it is very special, no question about it. I think, yeah, like you say, just because of the history. I mean, we know you know, the brand speaks for itself, 16 wins uh, and counting hopefully, so we've got to uh, add to that. The old guys showed us how to do it in the past and we've got this new situation where we've got to go and take on some really tough opposition, uh, which the other guys had as well back in the day, but we've now got to go on redo it all again. I've done my Formula 1 career now, obviously, you know, 100 or 215 races or whatever coming up. And it's, it's a nice transition for me into something which uh, I'm certainly going to be respectful of pushing as hard as I can to get the best results possible with Porsche. Mark's penultimate Formula 1 race and the United States Grand Prix could not have gone much better, closing out the podium positions and ensuring Red Bull Racing finished with both cars in the top three. Next time on Return to Le Mans, it's the end of an era. We're in Brazil for Mark's final race in Formula One and the team's reaction to his contribution to Red Bull Racing and the sport. Before testing begins, 
and his focus turns to Porsche and their 2014 Le Mans contender.